frozen tundra. We're taking the boat south, Lake of the Ozarks trip, number one of the 2020 season. It is cold, negative 11 here in Wisconsin. Oh, I hope there's open water this weekend in the Lake of the Ozarks. I so hope there's open water. so smooth. I'm so glad I installed that hydraulic steering. So much smoother than my cable drive. She's cold. It's always good when they rip right up. After two months sitting in the sitting in the garage. Glad I installed that hydraulic steering. Just so easy to turn now. So easy to turn. Huge thank you to uh, Todd Simpson on Instagram for uh, letting me know this boat ramp was open. This is below the dam. There's a dam. Dam's right there somewhere. And uh, never been here before, so we're gonna try to figure it out. Hopefully, hopefully there's some crappie. This is why I have both Humminbird and Garmin on my dash right here. See this mapping? So this is the Navionics system, and it's mapped above the dam. See how it's mapped above the dam right there? So it's got all the mapping above the dam, none of it below the river. So hopefully the Lake Master's chip... Actually, shoot, did I forget to put the Lake Master's chip in here? Hopefully this thing's mapped, otherwise we're going to have to... Well, we'll figure it out. I'm going to go right up next to the dam, figure there's some deeper water there. Of course I'm at 16 feet right now. We'll figure it out. Oh, here we go. And the Lake... Oh, this is a Navionics chip, I think. This is not the Lake Masters. Oh, well, we're going to turn this thing off. It's going to be useless. Alright, so I think I found them right there. Let's see if we can blow these up for you. Yeah, I think that's them right there. Right on that drop. Otherwise there's some bass, but either way, let's see if we can catch a fish. Head up on there. Alright, I think I found a big school. Oh my goodness. Either those were giant crappie or there's something else. White bass, maybe, I don't know. 20 some feet of water, I'll show you in a second here. Got the brand new ACC jigs. Gonna go with the Crappie Monster Small Fry. Pearl and Chartreuse was this color last year. Did the trick. We'll see if it does it this time. If you can see this, I'm just gonna show you. Where are they? There's a ton of fish on the bottom. There was a huge school somewhere. Oh, there's a ton of fish down there. Jesus! I think I just hooked into a monster cat or a spoonbill. Yeah, it's a, that's a big, big spoonbill. Ouch. Oh, that hurt. Don't do that. Yeah, it's a big spoonbill. There we go. See you, buddy. Well, I got something. Oh, he was stuck on something. I don't know what this is. Holy smokes. Decided to try my hand at bass fishing. Let's see if this camera's still on. Oh my goodness. Probably could tone that down a bit, huh? All right. Oh, he's under the boat. He's under the boat. Don't get in the trolling motor, dude. Either this is gonna be a record bass or it's, I don't know, maybe another spoonbill? 
throwing a swim bait. I was just reeling it and all of a sudden, thump, hit a snag. You think it's a big cat? What do you guys think it is? Comment section. There's a ton of bait down there. Oh my god, I hooked another freaking spoonbill. Right in the side. How in the world is this happening? Oh, oh, oh. Don't, don't do that, don't do that, bud. Come on. Let me just get this thing out of you in. Oh, that camera. There. There you go, bud. Go back to the depths. Jeez, this thing is loaded with spoonbill. Holy smokes. Snagging season, I think, starts March 1st for the spoonbill for guys that go out with, with huge treble hooks. So far, I've caught two. Not on purpose, by any means. Look at that. Just swimming it. And got stuck on the side of them. I think all of these are spoonbill. I mean, there's a ton of fish down there. They can't all be spoonbill. Look at them all. Like, that's definitely a spoonbill. These guys are definitely spoonbill. That's one right there, two, three, four, five. But these fish out here, I'm casting, casting out into this stuff. They look like a bunch of shad. Gosh dang, you think it's a ton of spoonbill? No crappie. Talked to two other bass fishermen and they did not catch a single bass out here today. I'm just kind of trying to find some spots so I might be able to catch some fish. Not these ones. All right, back at it. Well, a little, uh, little update here. Two spoonbill. My God, this thing is loaded with spoonbill back in those little holes back there. Right now I'm just kind of going down the rest of this river trying to mark um, trying to mark these little waypoints where I find pieces of cover for some crappie I think I gotta attack this a lot like how I fished uh, Lake of well, the Brazos River down in South Texas with fish and can um, we basically just trolled the shoreline or idled the shoreline until we found a brush pile or a lay down or something and then we uh, usually spot locked up on it um, if we found crappie but we direct drop the live scope down and see if there's crappie in there I must not have put the uh, plug in very well must not be in all the way because that the auto build has been going off about five six times today so it should be should be interesting oh don't do that this is the echo map 93 SV UHD model it's the first time I've had it out got the other one up there and then that's my older Echo Map Plus for the live scope. And then the Hummingbird. Hummingbird was no good today. I actually brought this because there's some waypoints that I had last year on it. That I do want, hopefully this lake opens back up at least enough to where I can fish kind of the main part of the river. The main coves that I want to get into. Because I am not finding anything that looks like a giant school of crappie, but We'll see how it goes. Only gonna fish for another 30 minutes and then we're gonna call it a day. Maybe you'll find something. Okay. Well, two paddlefish. That, uh, that officially ends day one. I might try to fish for some crappie on that heated dock later tonight. The river's frozen over. Uh, good news is, pretty much every single resort on this, uh, I'm on the Little Niangle right now. Every single resort, especially this one, Point View Resort, has got all their blowers going. So the entire shoreline is pretty much wide open. Um, so I, I don't think it'll be long before all this ice will clear out the river system. 
It's supposed to get rain tomorrow and it's supposed to be like mid 50s. So hoping by Monday we'll be uh, dunking the boat in and blasting off upstream to catch a bigger crappie somewhere else. But right now, luckily Point View Resort has this heated dock. Yes, it's got a heater in here for when it gets really cold. Right now it's only like 40 degrees out, so it's actually pretty darn nice. Um, somebody was fishing. So I got my minnows. I don't know what it is about like coming down in this area. It's super hard to find minnows. Um, at least one's in stock because you can find shiners really easily, but crappie minnows, they go out of stock real fast apparently. I don't know, we, I don't have that problem up north. So um, we got minnows, brought the ice rods because last time I was using an eight footer in here and setting the hook, I was hitting the ceiling. So we're going with ice rods today. Brought my live scope system that I use for ice fishing. So we'll be able to see everything. Uh, I was gonna bring a camera, but it's uh, pretty murky water. I don't think you'd be able to see much. So there's brush piles down here, or there, I don't know what it's made out of, but there's a bunch of cover sticking up down there. So we're gonna drop the live scope down and try to catch some fish tonight. I also got the uh, hand tie jigs. These are ACC crappie sticks, came out with the jig lineup this year. Um, they are for sale, I think you can get them on the website. But uh, they're just bare jigs. I hand tied all of these, got into hand tying some jigs, so we're gonna try these out. Hopefully, catch a ton of crappie tonight. We'll see though. Let's get the ice rods out. I know I posted my ice fishing videos kind of late in the season. And uh, they're all sold out but uh, there'll be more next year. So be sure, if you're thinking about buying an ice rod, do it super early in the season, like November, early December, because they, uh, they sell out real quick. I brought two of them today. Um, this is a 30 and a half, I believe 32, yeah. 30 and a half and 32 inch. So I hand tied, it's a pink chartreuse and white. Three colors you definitely want to try for crappie fishing or you should always have in your tackle box. Um, they really like the chartreuse. So we're gonna give this one a shot. And I think the, uh, this rod that I got a little jig, this is a Z-Viber, 1 16th ounce Z-Viber. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna turn this into a slip bobber rod since I got the live minnows. And we'll just have this kind of as a dead stick rod. Here comes one. Got him. About time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is a dink. Well, first leg of the Ozarks fish of the 2021 season. And uh, yeah, I can, I can hold it pretty close and make it look big, but it, it's, uh, it's a dink. I'm gonna try the other pool over here. So there's a warning up there. It says slippery when wet, especially when icy on that boat ramp. And uh, these Nikes are, are not the best, not the best gripping of shoes. So my leg was like back this way and this, my shin landed on that curb. I thought for sure I was gonna break it, but uh, I didn't thankfully. Otherwise I would make a, make a really short trip to Lake of the Ozarks. We're back at it again, day two. This really isn't the type of video that I want to film. These vlog style videos is not something I normally do. Um, so for those of, for those of you watching that normally I just jump right into it, I kind of know the area where I'm fishing. I don't have a choice right now. Um, the rest of the lake, Lake of the Ozarks above this dam here is 100% iced up. There's no open water except for by the docks where people have blowers going. Um, let's turn this off for a second. Uh, it sucks because my resort, where my resort is, it's on the Little Niangua and there's a feeder creek. I mean, it's like, it's right across the river where I know there's thousands of crappie stacked up in it. And I mean thousands of crappie. Um, and I can't even, can't even get to them. One, the ice is not even safe enough to walk on. There's like an inch to inch and a half, but it's still all locked up. So what sucks about this spot is Lake Masters and Navionics, neither of them have mapping systems that are contoured out to this. So today we're gonna to show you how to do quick draw contours on the Garmin uh, 93SV UHD and hopefully find some, some lay downs. I'm gonna to have to fish this like the Brazos River. For those of you who watch that series with Ken, Hook City TV. 
<laughs> Get you some. Uh, basically, we use side imaging on the steeper side of the river. A lot of times with erosion, these trees will actually fall into the river and uh, they'll slide actually into the deeper creek channels. So and the crop will stack up on them. So that's the hope today. Today we are trying to find some sort of lay down that might hold some fish. The cool thing, the reason I'm optimistic about this body of water, the limit on crappie is 30 per day. Okay, 30 crappie per day. There's no size limit. Whereas Lake of the Ozarks, you can only keep 15 and it's a minimum of nine inches. So I'm thinking there's crappie in here. There's gotta be crappie in here. There might be some by the dam. There's a boat. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a boat over there by the dam. I don't know what else they'd be fishing for. Yesterday there was three boats that were all bass fishermen. I saw one guy catch one bass. Um, but other than that, it was pretty much all caught those two spoonbill somehow. I have no idea how I caught them, but I did. Didn't try to catch them. But anyway, all right, let's show you the Garmin quick draw contours. We're going to go downstream and uh, hopefully map out on side imaging some laydowns that might hold some crappie. All right, here we go. So I don't have any of this mapped right now. There's nothing mapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to go quick draw contours and I'm going to go start recording. And it is going to start recording. And there it goes. As I go over uh, different parts of the water, it's going to start building a contour map. Oops. Uh, combo, there we go. So I got, this is kind of what I like to run. Uh, side imaging and a mapping system. I'm, right now I'm just looking for pieces of brush or maybe even a rock ledge, something where these fish can sit um, on that current edge and, and try to feed on bait fish as they go by. So we're just gonna idle down and uh, hopefully, hopefully find something. But yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's already building a little bit of a contour. So we're just gonna keep idling down until we find something. And once I find something, I'll bring it to you. All right, I hope you can see this, but there, Oops, oh, we'll go here. There's a ton. There's a ton of fish stacked up right on this edge. There's a lot, of, it looks like a lot of shad, but um, yeah, there's some over here too. There's a ton of it. So I'm gonna drop the live scope down and uh, we'll see what that is. I was here last time, but uh, we'll see if we can actually catch a crappie out of it or if it's just a bunch of shad. I don't know. Well, I don't know what this is. Gosh dang it, Doug. I'm trying to, there's a bunch of shad or I think they're crappie, I don't know. But then there's some bigger fish with them. And I think they're spoonbill on top. Gosh dang it. And they're running into my jigs. I got the wind pushing me this way, the top current going that way, and then there's an eddy below pushing my jigs back. Son of a gun. I'm not trying to catch these fish. I'm trying to fight him and the current right now. Well, if you're curious about these 12 footers being tough, they're tough. It's like I can't get him up the last 10 feet. He's just sitting down there. This must be a big one. Oh, there he runs. Which side are you gonna go on, bud? Oh, I see one jig. Is that a spoonie or is that a giant cat? There we go. Yeah, this is a good cat. Holy smokes. Come on, bud. 
get up here. What is that? It's not a spoonie. Is that a giant Asian carp? What the heck is that thing? Come here, bud. Apparently I got him in the fin. What in the heck are you? You got teeth? What in the heck is this thing? I've never caught anything like it. Some sort of carp? I'm gonna have to look this fish up because I don't know what it is. But it's a, it's a big one. All right, get you back, big guy. Whatever you are. You back down there. Ooh, that water's cold. There he goes. See you, bud. Well, comment below what that was. I'm gonna have to look it up. I've never caught a fish like that before. Comment down though. I'm sure a lot of you would know exactly what that is and like you're an idiot, but I've never caught a fish like that. So post in the comment section. All right. Well, there we go. Come on, focus. I was just, there's a piece of lay down out here. Right there. This thing right, right here. It's a piece of tree. And as you can see, there are fish stacked up all over the place back there. Let's back up a little bit. All right. Yeah, there are fish stacked up all over the place by that tree. So we're gonna go we're gonna go over there and try to find uh, find out if these are crappie or not. All right, we're gonna fish this lay down. My next investment is a GPS map unit so I can actually record the screen for you guys because I know the GoPro footage isn't the greatest. Man, there's a giant tree up there. Where is this? There's fish right underneath that tree, so let's, uh, let's creep up to them. They're on the bottom though, that's what worries me. Well, I just caught a second fish. 100% it was an Asian carp. I think that first one was an Asian carp as well. Um, it just had some weird markings on the side. That's why I didn't, I don't know, didn't recognize it. But uh, there's a ton of, ton of fish stacked up on this channel break. I think they're all Asian carp. I mean, they, they look huge on the live scope. They're not crappie. So I'm gonna go to this bridge here and hopefully there's some crappie stacked up on the pilings. I don't know, it's the only confident spot that I can think of. Otherwise I can run back up to the dam, but yesterday it just looked like there's just a bunch of paddlefish up by the dam, so, or spoonbill, whatever you guys wanna call them. I don't know, this might be a really tough spot to try and find some crappie, but it's the only spot I can get to. What are you gonna do? Well, I wish I could say, uh, we caught a bunch of crappie, but we did not. I didn't even find any crappie. Um, I was watching three other bass boats. They were casting for bass. Not one of them hooked up for about two hours. They came through this little area. Not one of them hooked up. So and there's definitely fish down there. Let me uh, let go this way with it. There you go. Yeah, there's there's a ton of fish down there, but I think I think a lot of them are just big schools of Asian carp or spoonbill. I don't know what to tell you. This is uh, not a good trip so far, and I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm half debating picking up or hitching up the boat and driving to Table Rock tomorrow, because I heard Mid Lake on Table Rock is open. But I honestly don't know what to do right now. I think the best shot I have of catching crappie is right at the resort where they have the heated dock. It sucks. But uh, I've already tried changing this trip one time and I just couldn't take any more time off of work, unfortunately, um, during this like February, March period. So this was the week I had to do it. And hopefully, I guess, hopefully the parts of the lake will uh, thaw out. Maybe Truman Lake will thaw out. I don't know. It's not looking too good right now, but 
sorry to end the vlog today on a bad note, but I do appreciate you watching as always. Two Asian carp, three gizzard shad. Didn't catch any of those on camera. But uh, tonight I think I'm gonna try and fish the heated dock to just catch a crappie. So let's go back to the resort and hopefully catch a bunch of crappie in the heated dock.